hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new you're gonna love it here and if you're returning what's up as you can see by the title this is another hair tutorial this is a closure wig install i believe that this is my first closure wig on my channel this was a very quick and easy process so if you would like to see how i installed this wig keep on watching Hey y'all, so if you all were wondering, this wig is from Love Me Her. I received my wig in this purple box. Inside that box was this cute pouch that held a wig cap and an edge brush. A cute little mirror with a purple case that you can take on the go. A purple silk scarf with their logo on it. And of course, the wig. This is the pre-plucked chestnut brown loose wave 5x5 closure lace glueless wig. All right, now let's get started with this install. I did about eight braids going straight to the back. I try to do my braids as thin and as flat as possible. Before applying wigs, I like to oil my scalp. So here I am doing so. Okay, so I like to cut my lace before gluing it down instead of gluing it down then cutting the lace. So here I am cutting the lace off. I like to get close to the hairline but not too, too close. So I leave just a little bit of lace in front of the hairline. Now that I have the wig on my head, I am using a brown eyebrow pencil to mark out where the lace stops and that'll determine where I apply the glue. Now that that's done, I will be using my got to be gel to slick back my edges to keep those hairs out the way. I usually don't wear wig caps anymore because I don't see the point of them. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like those take my edges out. Once the gel is applied, I use a toothbrush to brush my edges back. Then I use my blow dryer to quickly dry everything down. For this install, I will be using a ghost bond. I didn't know that this wig was glueless when installing, so yes, I am gluing down a glueless wig. Since this is a closure install, I will only be applying glue at the top of my head and not from ear to ear like I usually do, which is great because it is easier to install and I am using less product. I was having a little trouble with the glue. It was coming out kind of clumpy, so I had to use my fingers to kind of spread it out. Then of course I go on my blow dryer to dry it down. Not completely dry, but making sure that the glue turns clear before applying the wig. Once the glue is tacky, I grab my wig and here I am taking my time laying the wig down. And usually I would apply makeup to the lace before laying it down. But this lace had a brown tint to it and I thought by maybe adding makeup, it was going to make the lace too dark. So I just left it alone. Once I have the wig positioned exactly where I want it to be, I use my comb to kind of melt the lace in. After this step, I went back and wiped off those brown lines around the lace. Now I'm putting on my cotton elastic band. No, it is not dirty, that is makeup. Putting this on to keep the lace laid while I'm styling it. So here I am using my rat tail comb to part out my middle part, just making sure that it's nice and straight. Before I start to curl my hair, I am going to comb everything out and I will be using my Sebastian Shaper Plus hairspray. Thank you. 
so i am using a thick curl because i want big luxurious burl curls i will be curling my hair in medium sections doing my curls away from my face So usually I straighten my hair fully before I curl it, but I wanted to see how my curls would turn out if I curl it from the hair being blow dry. Like maybe that'll give it more volume. I don't know. I was just trying it out. If you all would like an in-depth tutorial on how I do my curls and maintain my curls, how I wrap them up at night, then let me know in the comments. So like I mentioned before, I did not straighten my hair before curling it. So I went in at the top using my high comb to get the wig as flat as possible and so that it won't look bulky. And to help lay the wig even more, I am using my wax stick at the top near my parting, just so that, like I said, the wig can be as flat as possible. As you can see, I have a one side curled. Here I am feeling myself. So now that the other side is complete, my curls kind of fail, but that is okay because I am going to wrap my hair. And usually when I wrap my hair the night before, my curls are usually exactly how I want them to be in the morning. So before I show you all the final look, I would like to thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and shop Love Me Hair. Also check my description box below for the details on this wig down below. And that's it. That's all. Bye y'all.